Welcome back to the Albion Online tutorial series. Today is episode 2 on the channel and we have now reached our destination completely away from the tutorial. Now we are actually in the game and we have dropped in at Swamp Cross. Well, this is where our journey starts and before we actually start the gameplay of today's video I just want to recap what we did last video because I feel like I wasn't talking loud enough because of the audio but I have fixed that this time and now I will recap it with more detail and this is going to be a way better tutorial video so let's get started alright so last video we went into the tutorial in Albion we learned how to gather using our pickaxe, axe, sickle, and skinning knife to get the hide of foxes, the cotton, wood, and stone. So that was the gathering part and the tutorial showed us how to do that and how to come and to craft as well using that those materials to make our armor and our weapons. But we also learned how to kill heretics, the nasty heretics, also known as our enemies. So to do that, we had to use our sword, which was the weapon I had chosen out of the three. The sword, the bow and arrow, and the mage staff. Those are the three, but I decided to go with the broadsword. We started at tier one and we got quests from the NPCs like Tia and the Wounded Crafter for example. Those those people were giving us the quests to go adventure out and do all of the necessary uh, the necessary actions to get our um, sword, armor, and gathering levels higher up. So when we killed the heretics, we got something called combat fame, and we learned that it goes towards something on the des uh, something called the destiny board. So we started out, and our combat fame went to novice adventurer, which got us, which all the combat fame that we got, which is this little red icon, got us all the way here, so that we were able to use the demolition hammer, the the novice's cape, and the novice's bag. It also contributed to Trainee Fighter. This allowed us to use our Tier 2 broadsword and all the other armor and weapons along with it. Also our shield. It comes in handy, especially when you're de dealing with a tough boss. Now, not only did we get high levels on our fighting, we also got it on our gathering, so we're able to use the journeyman's fishing rod, the novice sickle, novice pickaxe, novice skidding knife, novice stone hammer, and novice axe. To do that, we had to gather tier 2 resources instead of killing heretics. We also learned that learning points, this icon up here, will help boost um, your levels so that you can get uh, to the next level instantly in just a click. So the way it works is you use the fame, the combat fame, to get to this point right here. As you can see, it's connected to the learning point book. So once we get here, we're able to click the learn button, which will get us all the way here, which will allow us to use our tier three armor. We'll, and we'll get to that today. This also applies for our weapons as well. So once we get here, we can get our Journey, we can use a journeyman's broadsword, journeyman's battle axe, journeyman's mace, journeyman's hammer, journeyman's brawler gloves, journeyman's crossbow, and finally journeyman's shield. Once, because the main thing with this with this node here, journeyman warrior, is you have to use a sword. But then you're able to branch out into one of these, unless you want to keep going with the sword. But we'll we'll decide today where we're gonna go. And one thing, last episode, we didn't get the same armor of every kind, 
we spread it out evenly between all the different pieces of armor head chest and boots so there are three kinds of armor plate leather and cloth and we spread it evenly like this we put the plate on our head the leather on our for our jacket and the cloth for our boots each armor piece has its own ability which can be found down here which can be used down here so for example if we click on our plate armor we can find this this is called stone skin it says turn your skin to stone increasing your defense by 33.3 percent for seven seconds this is really good so that, so that if you're in a sticky situation where uh, there's too many mobs coming at you, you can put this on and have mul uh, have really good defense so that you can take those guys out without um, having any problems with dying. And not only does your armor come with an ability, it also comes with a passive. It's called toughness. It increases your defense by 2.4%. This, this differs between the armor. Moving on to our jacket, we have two options. Inferno shield, mend or mend wounds. Mend wounds will restore 6% of your max health, not affected by your healing cast modifier, and 5% of your max energy every one second. The inferno shield, cover yourself with the flaming shield, increasing your damage resistances by 54 for eight seconds. It also reflects a 38% of the damage you take as magical damage. And it also comes with the Balanced Mind passive. Increase all your damage and your healing cast by 4% and also, decrease, uh, and also increases your defense by 1.9%. Finally, for our boots, we have Energetic Sprint. Start to sprint, increasing your move speed by 80% 80, uh, 80 for 5 seconds. Restore 7 energy every 1 second. Energy is this blue bar up here. It goes down every time you use an attack, but it will um, it'll regenerate by one every one second. And this uh, and for your health up here, which is the red bar, it will increase like really fast, uh, and it'll come here like and you don't need to like do anything special. It'll just automatically get your health back up. So for the passive for this is increase your max load by six kilograms. For example. If you're holding a bunch of items, like you went gathering and you got a bunch of iron, or which is which is one of the materials in the game, it's a little bit farther. Um, it's the tier two, uh, tier four version of copper, basically. And if you're like collecting a bunch of that, and and you start to walk slow, it's because you're holding so much. And to check like how much you're holding, you just gotta look. On the inventory icon that I'm hovering over right now, and the percentage below it. That mean that shows how much weight you currently have on you right now. And you can empty it out in the bank, which I'll show you, to lower that. So, because we're holding these items right here, like 27 simple cloth and copper bars. Before we drop our stuff off at the bank, I want to talk about the sword. So the sword has three different kinds of attacks and one passive. So the passive is deep cuts. Every four normal attacks inflict a bleed on the target enemy dealing 30 physical damage over 1.5 seconds. But the attacks that we have are heroic strike, strike the targeted enemy dealing 138 physical damage. This attack is interrupt. It interrupts the, the target spell casting, deals 138 physical damage. And the mighty and this is mighty blow. Leap towards the targeted enemy interrupting their spell casting and also deals physical damage based on the amount of heroic charges on you so if you have so it says here heroic charges 0 1 2 3 damage 142 228 241 and 482 we are also able to unlock this passive over time if we come here onto the destiny board under sword fighter we uh, we will eventually be able to get that passive weakening every normal attack decreases the damage the targeted enemy deals by two percent for two seconds and also you're probably wondering what is this scroll thingy here and what is all of this you probably looked at it so basically 
Um, so you start out from trainee fighter, of course, and you move down to journeyman warrior if you're using a sword like me. And then, since you have all of these options here for weapons, you can choose which one you want, and you can go out and and select which one you want. And every time you use like uh, that weapon, for example, if I use the journeyman's battle axe, I would get combat fame every time I kill like like an enemy, and it would go towards uh, here. It would go towards axe fighter. Once you get to level one out of a hundred axe fighter, you're able to use the tier four battle axes that they provide right here. There's a bunch to choose from, and then eventually you'll be able after you do it again and you get to level three you're able to use this this is called rending spin it's another attack that you'll be able to unlock and then eventually once you get to level six you'll be able to get life leech and so on and eventually you'll and at level 10 you'll get to the next tier of weapon and that's I hope that answers your question guys if you had if you were wondering how to advance tiers and also unlock all that stuff and one more thing learning points will also uh, will also be uh, like you're able to use learning points on this as well it would cost eight and it gets expensive the higher the tiers you go but now let's go start the gameplay all right now we have arrived here from the tutorial this guy took us over and you and you see this white circle here we've seen this in the tutorial many times so we're going to kill a click on this guy and it says and his name is herbert welcome to albion the royal army welcomes you to albion traveler objective speak with royal soldier herbert and swam cross we already got that from the thing uh, from the mission we saw here earlier so now we can cr press complete. I'll move my thing over here so you guys can see. So this town is under the protection of royals. We control the coast and our five great cities, Thetford, Limhurst, Bridgewatch, Martlock, and Fort Sterling. Travel too far inland. I travel too far inland, however, and you'll have to fend for yourself. Go talk to the commander. He will help. He will welcome you properly. Objective, speak with the royal commander, Bertram, in Swampcross. So basically, this guy is basically giving us missions like we got in the tutorial. Although, you don't exactly have to do this, but I'll show you why you should. So, here we are at Betro. Let's continue. Alright, so, after we got to him, we got something called Premium, and it's been extended by three days, as we see right here, three days. So, premium is used for many different things. So, the benefits of having premium will increase how much combat fame you get from like killing heretics by 50%. It's really good, and it's really good for upgrading your armor and your weapons as well. But not only that, it has this really cool use that you can use in here. It's called the daily bonus. I'm hovering over it right now. And it is extremely, extremely cool. Let me show you. All right, so if we click on it, will we see this right here. This is the Harvest Challenge October 2022. This is the challenge for this month currently. And, you've, and you're probably wondering what all this stuff is. So the first thing that we see here is this. This, every time you kill, every time you kill a mob, for example, like a heretic, you will get a key along with the combat fame that you usually get. The keys will eventually add up over and over and over again, and it's really fast. It, it, like Usually it only takes maybe like 10 minutes or 20 minutes to get enough, uh, enough keys to reach the end. So as we see, uh, we have zero out of 1,200. Once we get to 1,200, we'll get these right here. 50,000 um, keys bonus and a, an Adept's Tome of Insight. An Adept's Tome of Insight is a book that you use to get 
ten thousand combat fame. It's a lot. It's a depth of insight is really good. So every day you'll get one of these. Every day. this is your daily bonus, and you'll get ten thousand combat fame. Now, this bonus fifty thousand keys is contributed to the monthly premium rewards. Uh, to monthly premium re rewards. So. It won't contribute to this, of course. It will because that's way too many. It's, it's that's it won't work. You have to get that daily. But the bonus will be contributed to the monthly. The monthly will add up over time. As we see here, this green bar shows what we're gonna get today. How far we're gonna get today if we get fifty thousand. Once we get far enough, and we get to six hundred k. We're going to be able to get this. This is the avatar ring for this month. And it will get you this. This is this is a ring that goes around this right here up top. It'll go around this. It's extremely cool. As you can see, really cool looking. But not only that, the best part is this. You'll get a new mount. You'll get a new mount. It's called a spectral bat. So it comes around every year. So if we go click here for example so if we click this and we uh, it's it shows all the months and it shows all the different challenges the harvest challenge is this month yeah this is it's this month October and all the other ones are for the other corresponding months and each one has its own mount that you can get for example the night challenge in june will get you the gallant horse this month will get you the spectral bat the spectral bat has an ability called flicker teleport to the targeted position can teleport through obstacles grants immunity to damage for 0 0.2 seconds so basically this mount lets you fly on a ghost bat that sounds amazing but the thing is, to get one of these, you're going to need at least seven days of premium. So you're going to, so you're going to have to uh, get uh, seven or uh, seven days or higher. It'll go up to like a year. That's that's the max. So not only will the will the fifty thousand um, contribute to the to the monthly here, it'll contribute to this. This will so after three. After three days of getting fifty thousand bonus, you'll be able to claim the harvest challenge chest. Inside are extremely overpowered tomes of insights and materials and bags of silver that you can get that which will literally make you go crazy in real life and in Albion. Like you will be able to get really good stuff, and you'll be able to, uh, and you'll be able to get really good weapons and and you'll be able and you'll be really rich because this will get you maybe like at least a million silver after all uh, after all four chests so you can do this and it'll keep going but the the catch is you need at least seven days of premium like this like like the spectral bat and the avatar ring so that's the only thing that that's that's the only thing so that is premium and those are the benefits now let's keep going with the game. All right, so let's click on him again. And this video might be quite long. I, I don't know, I'm not sure as I'm recording this. So I will put timestamps in the description or like those chapters. So you'll be able to go to the parts where you need help the most. So from, Bre from Bertram, we have different quests. So we have Welcome to Albion, Combat, and Gathering. So let's let's do take a breather so take a breather you look a bit worried perhaps a nice walk would energize you what are you waiting for take a stroll that's an order objectives take a stroll through town return to royal commander bertram and swan cross so let's accept and i'm just going to move this back this way my camera so now it's telling us to take a stroll through town so let's look around the map is actually telling us to go here. Um, I'm hovering over it. Alright, so let's go around and let's go here. The smelter. So as we saw in the tutorial, there was a smelter guy. So we have them. We have all of that here. This is the weaver where we can make the simple cloth and all that good stuff. 
We can come here. This is the tanner. All right. All right. This is the lumber mill, where we can make all the wood. Stonemason. All right. Okay. And this is the repair station. So once, like, if all of our armor gets worn out, we can click this guy, and repair it all. And it'll get more expensive the more. The, the less durability you have on your armor. So I just did that to demonstrate how to do so. So let's come to this guy. This is the Warrior's Forge where you can craft all of these weapons. As you can see here, all of these weapons and all this armor. We can also come back here. This is the Toolmaker. And before I get to the next area, not you in Albion you have a choice you can craft your armor and tools but you could also buy them from the marketplace people put all the weapons they craft or or find in in dungeons which you will get to it's very fun it's a very good part of Albion they can put that stuff in the fort in the sorry not Fort Sterling that's a different city they'll put it in the Swamp Cross marketplace right here so we can buy all this stuff with silver people put it up and then you'll get and then they and then they'll get the money we can also sell stuff which we will do eventually once we go dungeoning and stuff but that'll be in the step in a separate part of the video now he's telling us to come to the saddler this is the saddler and now we're going to head here this is the hunter's lodge where we can get all the bow and arrow stuff and this is where we're going to get our uh, leather jacket tier three as well. Ugh. Here, there, and here we go. I think this is the, yeah, this is the mage's tower where we can get our cloth sandals. There's a bunch of different um, mage stuffs to choose from, and now we're gonna go to the marketplace. All right, and now this is the bank. Yes. I, I, yeah, I forgot. We have to put our stuff back in the bank. So let's put all the stuff that we currently don't need right now in the bank. Like all this. So we can press stack and sort to organize it. And we can do the same in our inventory. Alright, now let's head back to this guy. Yeah. And if anything gets confusing, please comment your questions in below or look it up on Google. But feel free to do that. So not Daniel sorry not Daniel um let's go back to where is this go complete so let's just this over. complete now there's one for combat as well and gathering so the good thing about these expeditions that or these quests that you have right now is this Tomes of Insight. You can get tier 2 Tomes of Insight from these guys after you do their quests, which is really good for leveling up all your stuff. But I just did the first uh, the first quest right uh, right now to to demonstrate what it looks like. And you just do this for all the other ones, but do it and you don't exactly have to do it right now. You don't have to feel like you always have to do it. If you're bored in Albion and you're just completely like what do I do? Just do, just do this, complete this, it's really good for your levels. Now the next part of the video is about dungeoning. Now let's get to it because this is how we are going to get really high levels on our armor, our shield, our cape, and our sword. So let's get on our donkey, that sounds really weird, but let's get on our donkey and let's go to one of the exits, uh, let me move this here to one of the exits down here. So let's go here. We can run on our donkey and we can go here. Dungeoning is like one of the main parts of Albion. So we are in, we're, we're, we are in Stink Hag. Wow. Okay, yeah. So we started in Swamp Cross and now we're in Stink Hag. That sounds really weird. All right, let's right, let's do this. So, we are going to run on our donkey, and we're going to find a, gr a, a, a rock with a green glow, and it is going to show, and that is a dungeon. So, let's w venture out into this swamp-ish area. 
Another important factor in Albion is your silver. So dungeons will help you get silver by giving you the silver bags in the chests. So once you get enough silver, you'll be able to buy stuff on in the marketplace, which is extremely important if you don't want to gather all your stuff, gather all the materials to make it, because that's that takes quite a while. Oh, here we go. Here, so guys, this is a solo dungeon. Okay, this the you see the green glow coming out of the rock. This is the dungeon one you want to go in. You don't want to go in anything that has the blue coming out of it because that that's a group dungeon and you are going to get killed in that. So, yeah. Grab it just go into here. All right. So, the dungeon is hidden mines. So, this is usually the this is an okay dungeon cuz hidden mines it, it's okay cuz it's it's a little bit boring ish once you've played it a lot like me so as you can see we got a hundred and twenty eight fame for that combat fame so let's keep walking up and be careful and just be very careful don't die and don't get into those red circles never get into those red circles okay I'm gonna turn on my inferno shield and I'm gonna run uh okay I'm gonna I'm gonna lead these guys out uh, ah dang it if you run too far they're gonna go back so you have to recharge all right we're all charged up let's go in but we should be a little bit careful let's go along the edge and let's take one guy out at a time so the guy that I'm currently going out right now let's let's only go after him I don't want to lead too many of the other guys in as soon as we kill this guy we are going to run away all right good 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 run 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 ah no I died okay you don't lose your stuff like Minecraft you, it's just your durability goes down so yeah by 5% each time so yeah alright I wonder if we can fix our thing up a little bit like our any healing dang it nothing alright that's fine let's go Let's go and let's get this guy. I hate the pyromancers. You know, let, let's 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 get this last guy here and then let's go get the pyromancers. The the fire dude. That that's what the fire dudes are called. They're called pyromancers. Extremely annoying people. I'm telling you right now, they're extremely annoying. All right, okay. Run, run. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, so, sorry about that. Anyways. All right. Okay. So, as we saw there at the top. We got, okay, we got Journeyman Leather Armor Fighter. This means we're going to be able to use Journeyman's Mercenary Jacket, which means Tier 3. So, we can press Learn, since we've got the Combat Fame up, actually passed. Press Yes. Yay! And then we're going to get Mercenary Jacket here, and we're going to do the same thing, like like I sh uh, explained for the swords, and we're going to, uh, actually I explained with the Battle Axe, and we're going to do the same and just keep progressing in the leather jacket. Okay, let's let's fight these guys. I should put on my stone skin. Let's take out the pyromancer because he is extremely annoying. Uh, yeah, go 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 go. And by the way, this game you can play with your friends as well. It's you get to friend people, and you also um get to, and you can also play with other people on different devices as well. So you don't have to play on a computer. You can also play on your iPad, on your phone. Your, your old laptop. I'm, I'm just kidding. You can't play on an old laptop. You need a, like a device that can handle such big game. Cause this, this, this is a pretty big game. So yeah, you can play on literally whatever device. All right. So we have come up to a side boss, and this chest right here has a book on top. That indicates that there's tomes of insight inside, which is going to be really useful for us. So let's go up to him and say hello. And fight him. He has a lot more health than all the other ones, but this isn't the main boss. The main boss has a symbol on the ground, which indicates that they're the final one, and there's no more dungeon after that. So let's just do that. And let's keep fighting. You have to click to move. You don't use W A S D, and you use the letters on your. You have to use the keys on your keyboard for the abilities down here. If you guys were wondering, if you didn't know but um if, yeah if you didn't know 
like I was gonna say, maybe if you weren't following the series, well, you could you could technically join whenever you want. This is only the second episode. Oh no, I'm going to die! Help me! No, no, no! No! <laughs> ah! Stop! 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 No! 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 Ah! <laughs> yeah, guys, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, the, I'm not gonna be able to do this, so. Let's just keep going on with the dungeon. Let's see. Let's see if we can just kill these guys. But we're going to get the next set, uh, next tier armor and weapon. But I will spin the wheel once we get out so we know what weapon we're going to get. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think. Okay. Uh... Alright, guys. I. Not gonna continue with the dungeon. This is way too hard. I can't, I cannot beat this. It's it's not. I'm I'm going to not be able to repair my stuff if my if I keep dying. So I'm just gonna leave the dungeon and come back to Stink Hag. Stink Hag. Why is it? I don't know why it's called that. But let's go here and let's run back to Swamp Cross. Help, guys! I'm being chased by a monster outside! Help me! Ah! Oh, God. Alright, guys, we made it back to Swan Cross. Oh, God, that guy looked like he was angry! Alright, so, we can... Not... We're not gonna go there. We're going to go to the repair station guy. Hello, sir. I can't repair all my stuff. Look at my money. Oh, God! Help me. Okay. So, every time you die, everything in your inventory goes down, like, durability. That includes your mount. How can your mount break? How? I, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's broken. But, anyways. We can forget about that because we are going to get tier 3 armor anyway. So let's come to this guy right here at Swamp Cross. And we are going to get our mercenary mercenary jacket. Let's put it at tier 3. Alright, this is our jet. I can't buy it. I'm too poor. Ah! Guys, I have an idea. I'm gonna take some of. I'm gonna take the stuff that we got in the tutorial, and I'm gonna sell it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to sell, okay? And then we're going to click on simple cloth, all right? And we're going to keep it on sell order. Don't do this. Sell order. You make more money. So let's create. So now. It's going to be up on the marketplace and people can buy it. So we do that for stiff leather, rough logs, copper, and that. Perfect. Now, now that we have all of that up on the marketplace, we should get some money soon. Because you see it, how many people are here. They are going to buy our amazing materials for their own use. And hopefully we can get our armor but we can get all our armor and our weapon all right so while we wait for the things to sell out on uh, for to buy our armor we're going to spin the wheel to decide what weapon we are going to use that's under the journeyman warrior section so we have everything under the hammer fighter, the wargo fighter, the crossbow fighter, the axe fighter, and the sword fighter. If we get sword fighter, I'm going to pick a shield accordingly and also pick armor accordingly as well. So let's spin right here. Please be good, please be good. Please be good, please be good. <laughs> It's a mace! Oh wow! Okay, so it's it's the it's called the Incubus Mace. So let's go to Mace Fighter. Here it is. This is the Incubus Mace. This thing looks like a beast. This thing looks like it just came out from the demon world or something. Just look at that. So, anyways, 
we for our tier three now that now we know what to pick. So for our tier three armor, to, for our tier three weapon, sorry, we are going to pick mace fighter. We're gonna pick mace tier three mace so that we can do mace and we will choose incubus mace. I cannot wait to use this. Let's go. And also one thing. Since the Incubus Mace is a main hand weapon, we can use a shield with it. So let's actually decide that. Let's let's decide. So we have our regular shield, our Ast uh, Astral Aegis, Caitiff Shield, Sarcophagus, and Face Breaker. So each of them have different stats here. So let's pick. And also, guys, we have to we have to also consider how much it costs. Estimated market value. Look at that. Mm, 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 that's very expensive. So uh, I'm gonna go with sarcophagus because look, defense first mobs and defense first players. It like the, it's actually really good. That's that's pretty good defense. And. Oh look! In our mailbox, items sold in Swamp Cross. So we can click the mail up uh, up top, and then we get to see. We get stiff stiff leather. In, all right, so we got 261. Let's go! All right, now we have some money. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can actually get the mace. Dang it, we can't get the mace, but we'll get some soon. All right, guys. So. You're probably wondering, like, I changed shirts, so I'm actually recording this video, like, two days after uh, the the last cut that w that you just saw. So that means that it's now November, and there's a new challenge here, like I talked about before, how there you would get uh, the other mount, but now there's this one. I just wanted to mention that real quick. But that means that our stuff has sold in the marketplace, as we can see here. There's four. So we sold our rough stone, our simple cloth, our copper bar, and our rough logs. So that means that uh, we can go here, sorry, and we can buy. Let's just see. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's get our let's get our uh, mercenary get tier three okay yeah so now we can buy it and we can use tier three let's go let's put it on and oh so look uh i think yeah so there was only one here now there's two passives as you can see right here this one increases your attack speed but i am still going to keep balance mind it's really good for your defense and stuff well, uh, and I'm going to still keep Inferno Shield, but now we have tier the armor. Let's go. And you probably notice that it looks a little bit different, uh, which it does. It's because the higher the tiers you go, the the cooler, and it looks a little bit different. In my opinion, it gets cooler each tier. But yeah. Anyways, we got this, which means that we can um, probably defeat that dungeon a little bit more easier since we have. A little bit better stats as you can see here look at that compared to this I think we got a little bit better yeah um, one thing uh, I noticed is that you the max energy uh, has changed so now we're able to have a max of 165 energy as we can see right here um, and before we only had uh, max energy plus nine so that's that's actually pretty good that's a big jump and I noticed, uh, you probably saw me do this, if I click here, we have the Journeyman Cloth Fighter, which means we can use the tier 3 head, uh, the tier 3, sorry, the tier 3, uh, sets of armors, so which means we can use the Scholar Sandals that we were, that, that we're using right now in tier 3. Let's see, uh, let's see how expensive it is. Oh, we can buy it! Look! We have enough, we have enough. So we can buy tier three. Let's go. So now let's put it on. Uh, I think there's a new passive. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm gonna choose this one. Aggression, increase all your damage and healing cast by 3.5%. And now we have two abilities here. Focused run, focus on running, increasing move speed by 70% while channeling for 4.5 seconds. Grants immunity to stuns, roots, and swells. Restores uh, four energy over five seconds. 
This restores 8 energy and it makes us go really fast. Um, I think I think I might choose this one. It's a little bit better. And let's see for the uh, helmet. <gasps> no, we don't have enough. No. Okay, we're gonna try to com we're we're gonna complete this though. Uh, oh look, green sandals. Look, see it's it's a different color this time. Let's go. Uh, and now we can use the bank and put the stuff that we don't need right here. So that's amazing. We have this and all uh, this tier 3 stuff but we're going to look at this and okay, that's a thousand so now we're going to grind some dungeons and i'm going to do the time lapse because you can see how it works Alright, so I just wanted to mention one thing that just happened while I was battling. I got this sword fighter thing. I got sword fighter um, on the Destiny board. I also got leather jacket fighter. I got, uh, one sec, where is it? A shield fighter. So, all of these you guys should press learn so that you're able to use the tier 4 versions of it so I'm not going to do sword because you guys know that I spun the wheel and I got incubus mace and that means that I have to start out with the mace the thing is I don't have enough money to buy the tier 3 mace which is why I'm doing and I'm doing the dungeon so I can get enough silver but if you see that for any of them just press learn so that you're able to use the tier 4 versions of them and then you're, you're gonna be able to do it again so that you can get level 2 and you're gonna have to, and you're gonna keep going and going and going and going just like that and so uh, actually yeah, forget, forget what I just clicked right now uh, whatever uh, but just just do what I said where you just keep using your burning place to keep going and once you get this to 10 out of 100 And Adept Reaver as well. So, as you can see here, this is Journeyman Adventure. So, it comes out on top. So, basically, I have to do any activities, and now I have access to all of this. So, which means I can use a Journeyman's Riding Horse, which is faster than the Mule that I currently have right now. And then, we're going to be working on the Adept Adventure. But you also saw something called the uh, Reaver. Uh, so, the Reaver is right here. So, we got Adept Reaver right here and that means you have to kill creatures and the bonus is expedition standard of tier 4 unlocked I will talk about that next video but uh, but yeah so stay tuned for that I'll talk about expeditions and damage versus creatures tier 4 or higher increased by 30 plus 35 percent defense versus creatures are tier 4 or higher increased by 36 percent so so that's what Adept's Reaver does, and keep going. So let's go.
Yeah, we beat the boss. So once you beat a boss, you get a chest here. So let's open it up. And we've got three beginners bags of silver. So each bag of silver gives 1,000 silver. And we got three, so we got 3,000. That's a lot. So let's go. We did it. Oh, guys, guys. Okay, so we're at the main boss. But look, guys, look at the boss. This guy's got 4,000 health. For, it's actually 5,000. But that's not even the most important part. It's a purple chest. Look, the, the chest has this purple aura around it. Which is the... This, that's the second best one in the entire kind of chest in the entire game. So there's blue, sorry, there's green, then blue, then purple, then gold, which is the legendary chest. So legendary chest is the hardest to get, but this is, but purple is like extremely good though. Don't know how we're gonna defeat the boss, but uh, let's get these guys first. Uh, let's see if I can bring him in though. I'm not gonna time lapse this boss though. I just. Oh god. Oh no, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna time lapse this boss because he's very important. <laughs> and also, um you're probably wondering, like, I have tier three armor right now, but am I gonna get the tier four one? Because I got uh, I, am I gonna get the tier four armor? Because I just got the the things on the destiny board for it. But I I'm actually not. I'm gonna wait for the next episode to do that. But I'm gonna get the the tier three mace today because that's something I have to do. But yeah, let's uh and yeah. So once we get the t everything in tier four next episode, we are going to do the expedition, and we are going to yeah we're gonna do that. But this is this episode. I didn't think that this I'd get this boss. Uh, I didn't even know this guy was in tier three dungeons. Okay. Go, 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 His whip is quite annoying, though. Uh, sometimes I think he can pull you in. So you just gotta be very careful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you don't want to get in that. For sure. We're not losing much energy. Oh, yeah, you don't want to get into that either. It's a good thing that he doesn't run around with that. That would be pretty dangerous. Oh, and he, actually, yeah, he walks around. Okay. Oh, lag back. Oh, okay. 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 We got him down half. He got me down half. Ooh. 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 Ah. No. 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 Don't die. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna put this on. Ah. Uh, 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 I. I ate some soup. Just run around, let's just run around, let's just run around. Uh don't think I can be here. I don't know. Uh uh No No How did I get such a hard guy? Uh, 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 uh I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Let's see if I just change that. Let's okay, 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 okay. No, 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 You can't do this to me. That's no. Sir! Guys, this guy. I, I can't do that. There's no way I can do this. Hi right, guys, all right, we got to Swamp Cross. We have 4,500 silver. 
Let's buy our mace. <gasps> yes! Alright, let's see. Which one do we want? I think we want Threatening Smash that does a lot more damage. And we're going to choose this one, of course. And we're going to choose that one. Alright, so basically, this one, swing your mace and a cone in front of you, dealing 260 damage to all enemies you hit. Increases your threat towards all mobs hit by 100. Okay. Okay, and this one hit the ground in a 4 meter radius around the target position, dealing 357 physical damage, throws all enemy into the air for 0.6 seconds. That's actually pretty cool. We're gonna be able to get this one, but it doesn't actually do that much damage. Uh, oh, tr deep leap. Leap towards the targeted position, becoming immune to all crowd control effects, debuffs, and damage until, uh, until impact. Deals 278 physical damage in a 5 meter radius on impact. Slows all enemies hit uh, all enemies hit by 30% for 3.18 seconds. Enemies within 3 meter radius will be stunned for 1.91 seconds. Okay. That is actually super good. That is super good. I, I actually like that. We get to put this on and we get to keep the shield. Yay! Alright, so with the money we have right now, let's see if we can do anything else? Ooh, no! Coffee. Oh my god, that's actually so expensive. Why? Okay, yeah. Uh, I didn't expect it to be that expensive, but that's okay. We're going to get tier 4 anyways next episode. So, this will be the end of this one. I just got the mace, but I'll be showing you gameplay next time. So, stay tuned f until then. And we'll get um, and we'll get really far in our destiny board like tier four for example and we will s and I will see you guys next time bye